Today I'm going to share with you a free automation script that takes your winning queries out of your search query report in AdWords and converts them into single keyword ad groups automatically at the click of a button. Hi guys, I'm Ed Leek from adevolver.com and I'm just going to run you through why we do single keyword ad groups, a SCAG. What's the benefit of a SCAG if you don't already know really quickly? So let's get my face off the screen and talk about SCAG. So uh, why SCAG? Number one, uh, single keyword ad group controls your best performing keywords, improves your message match. So essentially your the search query to your advert is uh, as strong as it can be because your keywords are in single keyword ad groups with a, an advert or three to match. Uh, increases your click-through rate as a result because you get that message match as strong as possible. Uh, you get a better quality score because Google loves click-through rate, let's be honest. It's a major part of quality score and that in turn lifts your ad rank. Uh, quality score with your bid is your ad rank and it should reduce your cost per click over time compared to leaving um, exact match keywords in campaigns all mixed together uh, with other match types. It also allows you, and this is really important, it allows you to control your budget. So you want your best performing keywords in your SCAGs and you want them spending all the money they possibly can if they're converting. So another thing we should quickly cover is account structure to make this work. Now this is just an example, you don't have to use this, but in order for your single keyword ad groups to work, they literally need to be exact matches in their own uh, ad groups. So no mixing and matching of uh, match types. So this is just a really quick example. Uh, campaign name, uh, UK. So this is targeting the UK for desk lamps. And we've got a campaign here on the left you can see for exact uh, phrase broad and DSA campaign. So the example here is that this script would take from the phrase broad and DSA campaigns, uh, all the best queries from the search query reports, and it would put them into the exact match campaign. And within that exact match campaign, you'd have uh, single ad groups with single queries, um, sorry, single keywords, and of course adverts to match. So to control the delivery even more, we then have a shared negative list. So the, and the script does this for you, of course, all you've got to do is apply the the, uh, the shared negative list. So essentially here, desk lamps exact would only trigger for the exact match query in the exact match SCAG campaign. Uh, reason being that would be negatived against the phrase, the broad and the DSA. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, the naming convention here is just an example. You can do uh, any which way you like, but essentially you've got to split out your match types, which is good practice anyway, because it helps you with, um, it's easy for bid management and budget control, particularly important splitting out your match types. Okay, so let me show you the script. Now, if you haven't used a MCC level script or a AdWords script before, uh, I'll put a link in here to the previous video, which is an automated bidding script uh, that we've, we've re released, um, which shows you how to install a script. Pretty straightforward. So. This is the control sheet and I've put an example in here. So what does this do? So from left to right, it's really simple. You put the account ID on the left and its name, and that's for your benefit, uh, the name. The manager email, uh, you don't, it's optional, so you can put your email address in there so you get these logs sent to you. However, I would recommend that you run this manually uh, once a month anyway yourself and let it run through. I wouldn't put it on autopilot. So run script, yes, no. Then date range. So you're looking back, you know, if you, if you ran this once a month, you might want to look back 30 days. You might want to look back 60 days or more if you have a conversion volume that shifts up and down because ultimately we are targeting either, here we've got ROAS, but we could have CPA. So you've got two strategies here. You either want uh, return on ad spend or your cost per acquisition so that's what the script's looking for it's looking for keywords that are in your source campaigns that are hitting your target and have a minimum number of impressions so that's what it's doing it's looking for the search queries so as you can see here i've put the example in of 45 days the broad campaign and the dsa campaign and their destination for the 
keywords is the exact match campaign. Um, you could create a campaign specifically for Skags if you so wish, but this is, you know, for example purposes, relatively straightforward. So I'm just going to change that back to ROAS uh, for this example. So uh, minimum impressions is, is important, not just for this script, but for any time that you're doing um, or you're looking through search query reports for exact match uh, and phrase match as well, um, keywords to add to an account. Because if you fall below one impression a day, then technically that's a low volume search term. So if you add the uh, low volume search term to your exact match, for example, then it won't trigger or it will very, very rarely trigger. However, conversely, if you um, don't add it, a broad could trigger it even though it's a low volume keyword. So you've actually got more chance of a broad, sometimes phrase, um, triggering a low, vo low volume keyword. So don't ever add exact match low volume keywords. It's a very rare case that you would do that. Um, so yeah, min impression. So whatever this is. So if you 30 days, then I would always advise you stick 31. So you've just won over um, the minimum impression of one a day, or you could be play it safe and you know, put 40, whatever. But as long as it, it's more impressions than the look back period. And you can, can change the date range to all time or last number of months if you so wish. Uh, the, the only other two options here, it's really simple, is a label and keyword level URLs. Not a lot of people use keyword level URLs, but obviously if you do, it can pull those in uh, for you. And then label. So whatever you want to label up the ad group, and this just makes reporting easy. So you can search through an account really quickly uh, for the label to understand which ad groups this script created. So let's say this is a real account uh, and a real name, um, and you ran it. So you ran it with these settings as I had in at the start. Uh, what happens is when you when you run the script, you get an output here. It gives you a, a last run date, which is today's date when I ran it. And then you get this uh, output. So this one, it didn't find any queries, but here it has found two queries for you. So essentially it's found two keywords that have triggered conversions that have hit your target in the last 45 days with a minimum of 46 impressions in this broad campaign. It's found two of them. So it then outputs a sheet like this. So it tells you the date, the campaign name, the ad group name, and then it shows you the query. And it shows you the raw data for that query in this period. So for example here, one click, eight click, uh, number of impressions, the cost, um, total cost, all the conversions, and then it does show uh, CPA and ROAS, um, but this, this account is targeting six, uh, this example, should I say, is targeting six ROAS and above, and it shows you that there. So if we were to run this, uh, it would have actually taken these ad groups and these keywords and created them in the destination campaign here at the click of a button. So that is the script. And of course you can add as many accounts and campaigns in here as you so wish. So just jumping back to explain what's going on here in more detail and I've shown you that sheet. So this is you know full auto scagger. So what it does it finds the winning keywords in your search query report which can be relatively quick for you to do um, but it just automates it uh, based on your targets. It then creates the ad group for you in the destination campaign. So you have to have a campaign ready for it. It doesn't create campaigns, but it creates the ad group, um, copies the keyword over, and it creates the ads based on the ads that were being used previously. So you have an opportunity to uh, go one step further than the automation afterwards uh, and add some more specific uh, and fresh ad copy if you so wish. And I'd recommend that um, after the the Skags have had time to run. It also sets the max CPC based on the average uh, performance. So essentially what was the average CPC to hit your target, it will set that for you. So again, completely automated. It then adds the keyword that it's adding to the Skag 
to that negative keyword list. So you should take that negative keyword list and apply it to all non-exact campaigns. So it does the keyword management for you, or the, the cross-pollination management for you. So it stops your skags triggering across your account uh, and you lose control. And of course, it adds a label for you to the ad group so you can easily um, filter and report on them. And then it logs to the sheet, of course, as I've just shown you, and can send you an email if you so wish. Uh, and that's it. So link for this script is in the uh, description. If you're watching this video and you also are interested in automated bidding, we've got a free script for that if you haven't seen it. So I'll put a link around here somewhere. Depends what you're watching this on. Um, yeah, any questions, do let me know. It's pretty straightforward. It's easy enough to set up, but it saves you uh, a load of time. Uh, it's a great little script for skagging an account really quickly and taking those winning keywords. So, as I say, I've been Ed, uh, Ed Leak from Ad Evolver. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you find these free scripts really useful. We've got more coming in the in the next few weeks. Uh, I've been standing up because I've got a stand-up sit-down desk now, and it broke, and it's in the upright position, so tough shit for me. But until next time, thanks for watching. Hit the like button because it really helps the videos. I've been Ed. Uh, I've said that already, so good day to you, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are. Cheers.